Just a few months ago, Nisha Hernandez's Dance Academy in Chula Vista was bustling like usual. 800 students, 35 teachers, and 250 music and dance classes meant a lot of energy all the time. It is a hopping place, and now it's eerily quiet. Now is a time of pandemic, as the coronavirus has shut down studios and group classes all over the country. Hernandez decided quickly she had to find a way to continue teaching, and that meant going online. The disruption was how to pivot from in-person instruction, which is highly hands-on, to giving instruction in what way. And at now, Zoom is uh, very easy for everyone, but six weeks ago, not everyone even knew what it was, and we had to teach a lot of people how to do that. So the hard part was figuring out how am I supposed to keep my employees employed, the students engaged, the community feeling like a community instead of um, alone and lonely and scared, and trying to do that all in a weekend. Moving into people's homes means smaller spaces and different goals. Logistically, how you teach dance and music safely in someone's home when you can't actually touch them and they don't have a lot of space. For example, they're not going to be doing leaps, that which is a big dance thing. Um, but we can still um, move forward in a productive way. We just had to teach them how to do that. Arms up the sides and push your hips back. Keep your knees in line with your hips. Push it back. Hold it. Physically and artistically, it's about keeping them in shape, keeping the choreography memorized for when the day we do come back, you know, we can have a reimagined recital of some sort, um, mostly to celebrate the kids. I feel like we've pivoted from dance for great artistry to dance for humanity, for just keeping people sane, for keeping them connected, for keeping them uh, happy and engaged um, and in their routine and for some sanity. All 250 of Nisha's music and dance classes are provided live weekly through Zoom. An assistant performs the movement while the teacher watches all of the students in the class, giving corrections when necessary. They're getting in their regular teacher and their regular level and their regular style at their regular time every week. In addition to that, they we have complimentary classes that are free, that are earlier in the day that kids can log into. Um, the teacher is watching everybody providing feedback like, Susie, stretch your right knee. Don't crunch this part, lengthen that part, tighten this. Um, and so there is that live feedback. We like to have hands on so that we can say this muscle, move it this way, but um, you know, we, we're doing the absolute best we can, and it's certainly better than nothing for children who are bored, lonely, sitting on the couch with their thumbs in their screen. Um, so it's keeping them active. The transition has not come without struggle for Hernandez. Not everyone can do classes online, so some students have dropped off. But keeping 35 instructors employed is a goal Hernandez said she intends to keep. Did you ever think that you would be running a dance studio entirely online at this point in your life? I never thought that I would be running a dance studio online. It was not an interest of mine, <laughs> but um, necessity. This whole experience of a pandemic for all of us is going to mark a spot in our head in history that we are never going to forget. And we get to choose how we frame it. It destroyed us, um, it wiped us out, or we can frame it um, as an opportunity to be our best selves, to serve in a way we've never served before, to reinvent ourselves, to um, try to bring our community together in a way that two months ago they weren't interested maybe in doing. I'm hoping that that will be a choice that we all make um, 
keeping it keeping it positive and trying to come out of this um, learning something and being the best we've ever been rather than being the most depressed we've ever been.